Join the flow. Athlete Meetup in Stockholm 2020. My name is James Dollar. I look after Knocko UK and I am with... Yep, Scott Britton, functional fitness, wannabe athlete and head of battle cancer, massive partners of Knocko. Pretty excited to be here today, James. How have you found it? So we have team number one, Pansar Vagnana, with two girls, Hannah Carlson and Olga Stalnecki. Followed by the two guys, we've got Peter Blaha and Victor Langsbet. Good looking team there. And team number two, we've got Papa Bjorn. We've got two girls, Ella Wonga and Sarah Armanius. Two big guys in this team, we've got Linus Brass and Alexander Elbro. All right, moving on to team number three. We've got team Roger That. Two girls, Alice Millie and Antonia Kotalinski. All the way from the UK, we've got Phil Hesketh and we've got Sanctionals owner and all-round great guy, Roger Grillas. Right, team number four, team Femme. We've got two girls, Emma Tool and Mia Hesketh wife of Phil Hesketh, the previous team. A bit of rival there, James. We've got the two guys, Marcus Eriksson and Frederick Anderson, both ready to do some working out. Looking mean. All right, and our final team, Victor got knocked out. Two girls, Amanda Frandon and Louise Wickstrom. Two guys here, we've got Simon Mantala and Victor Lungdal. Team, nice matching tops, all ready to go. Mm, yeah, I like those tops, might get one of them. All right, so going into workout number one, we've got two teams, team A and team B. Team A will be doing a five meter handstand walk, 30 synchro pull-ups, 20 synchro chest bar pull-ups, 10 synchro bar muscle-ups, followed by a five meter handstand walk between, before swapping over to team B. Yeah, and team B gonna take a five meter over, overhead walking lunge, then 30 synchro dumbbell snatch, 20 synchro dumbbell hand cleaning jerk, 10 synchro dumbbell split snatch, really tricky one, followed by a five meter overhead walking lunge to finish. What part would you rather do? The first bit. Yeah, I'm having a it's got a bit better recently. I think we've done some synchro chest to bar and bar muscle up before. We yeah, have in Norway, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. I like the look of this one. All right, so five meter handstand walk, I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult for no. these guys, not too far. I expect that to be unbroken. 30 synchro pull ups. So the synchro bit has to be when their chin is over the bar at the same time. So you could be good by yourself, but it doesn't necessarily mean you'd be good at synchro ones because you have to make sure you're in sync with your partner, which is actually the difficult bit. I'd say the hardest one for me on there, I think, is synchro chest to bar. I think to try and get that everybody has different levers, so to get that chest to hit underneath is really, really difficult. So that's going to be interesting to see how well they do and if they start sinking up pretty quickly. Well, at least for the bar muscle up to be at the top mm. and hang on. We were talking earlier about the single dumbbell split snatch. That's a bit of a tricky workout movement to do. I personally have never done that movement. I think they did it at the games last year so they had the pegboard and the double under workout and they had the split snatch in there and it was throwing people off because it's a new movement right get ready to go so lane one we've got Papa Bjorn lane two we've got Roger that lane three Victor got knocked out lane four Hansa Vagnana and lane five Femme One, and they're off. So they're all off. They've all pretty much steamed right ahead with that. First one's off the handstand walk, a team half of Bjorn. Getting straight on that bar there. People are starting to wind up and take a little bit of a 
sync your role, take that time to look at each other, you see a few people like looking over the shoulder, first team going to start to drop. How would you approach this one then, 30, breaking it up into 10s? Yeah, I think most of these guys probably could go unbroken on the individual movements. However, you got to look at it and be like, actually it's 60 total reps. Yeah. So I think actually breaking this work up into smaller sets with very small rest periods is probably the best thing. So lane one, which is Papa Bjorn, I think they're breaking up into tens. So they've already threw the 30 synchro pull-ups. Nice, into the chest bar. A little bit out of sync or something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so on the synchro chest bar, the chest has to touch the bar at the same time. So I think we've got we've got there in lane two, Roger, that looks like we've got Phil Hesketh who's taking on the gymnastics part of the males. And it's interesting, you've got a couple of teams that have got male and female, but then I think the most of them have got male and male in part A. Yeah, I think because of the bar muscle-ups, I think the lads way out. are just going to be slightly better at the bar muscle-ups. <clears throat> like you said though as well, you could be really good individually at gymnastics, but if you're not paying attention and you're not going with your partner, then it's soon going to start dropping out of sync and you're just going to have wasted reps. Well, we've got lane one already on the bar muscle ups to see nice. if they go unbroken on those. So the synchro a bit on this one, they have to be locked out at the top. So I think they're going for two sets of five. Yeah, we've got a team in lane three. three. So Victor got knocked called out there onto their bar muscle ups as well. <clears throat> kind of push it at the top. Nice in lane two. With Roger that and now onto their bar muscle ups, but it looks like Ben and Pans are. I think let's just call them Team Pans. I think yeah, for yeah. just for us English people that are unfortunately not that good at really struggling with these names. <laughs> nice. So I think by nice. far and ahead, Papa Bjorn are way ahead on the handstand walk back. Gonna tag on to part B, and the girls are already with dumbbell in hand just across the line. Nice. Right, and they're off. So the girls in this one are using 15 kilo dumbbells, single one, and the lads will be using a 22.5 as kind of the the standard across CrossFit for dumbbell workouts at the moment. Those girls in are absolutely smashing through that first lap. So lane two on the five meter handstand walk. So we've still got lane four and five yet to finish part A and get onto part B. They're starting to slow down a little bit on those bar muscle ups, so the other teams are really pulling ahead now. We've got Roger that and walking out to catch up. So they're currently in third position, but way ahead. You've got Papa Bjorn, it's got knocked out. Now Roger that out on there, but the guys seem to be all on their bar muscle ups for Team Pans and Team Femme. <clears throat> oh, so Team Femme on their five meter handstand walk to get back. It's actually quite difficult going from a bar muscle up to going upside down. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of, your head's a bit all over the place with swinging around on the bar and then flipping yourself upside down. Also, your shoulders have just had a lot of gymnastics work. So, so they're out, so pretty much everybody knows the team. Hands are still on the bar muscle, but the guys are going why is he even... Yeah, I think they're just chatting through, they're finishing those last parts of the bar muscle, but everybody else is on part B. Up a beyond on those hand cleaning jerks. Alternating. Very nice. Synchro at the top, up, lock the arm out. So I think team hands are just trying to get through those last bar muscle ups, kind of waiting for each other. Oh. Um, they seem to be uh, alternating. Yeah, well, I'm not sure why they're alternating. I think they should be synchro at the top. Hmm. I don't yes. think. Where's their judge? Okay, so now they're synchronized. No, okay, so they are now doing alternating, but I'm not too sure why, but, um, okay. Seems you're doing a lot of work up there. Um, so we've all, yeah, Team Papillon all the way back, finishing part B, they're doing their last hands down meet, their yeah, last finished. lunge. Done, amazing. 432, that's a quick workout, considering the amount of reps that have just been done. Not bad. So Papillon way, way out and ahead. And it looks like at the minute still Victor got knocked out. Yep. So they are coming in in second. Once they've done the overhead lunge. Yes, yeah, nice. What's the time on that? 4.54. So I think it's going to be a close one for who takes that third spot in the first workout. Roger that. Are on to their split snatches. So opposite arm to opposite leg. So if your left arm's overhead, your right leg needs to be forward. 
stuff and not far more. So a team pans and now on the handstand walks to finish. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's taking head. a tumble there. Oof. Oh, that's gonna hurt. He's done a lot of bow slopes, that poor guy. He's getting across. Oh, oh he's yeah. done again. Oh. It's oh, so that. frustrating for that team. He just needs to get that final. Go on, Peter. Lock those arms out. Go on. Go on, go on, go on touch. Tip, tip, tip. He's yeah, over. Nice. That right, is, and they're off. Onto the dumbbell. That is putting your body on the line for your team. He's had three drops on the head there. The girls now are going to have to put in something fast in this for Team Pans. So, Papa Bjorn have absolutely rinsed that workout. 4.32, way ahead of everyone else. Roger, that came in at 5.21, so again, that's still good. That's like a two and a half minute split per one, which is, which is pretty good. Team Femme are going to cross the line. Done, 6.03. So I'm not sure if there's a time cap. I didn't see the time cap on this. Yeah, I didn't. I think we just had a difficulty <laughs> with those bar muscle-ups. I don't know if it was a bit of miscommunication, because they did about five reps of you go, I go. Girls are doing absolutely solid work now on there, they're just completely going through. Right, so 30 synchro dumbbell snatch into 20 synchro dumbbell hand clean and jerk, 10 synchro dumbbell split snatch, and then the five meter overhead walking lunge back to finish. So it looks like once they've pretty much got through the snatch, like the 20 reps and the 10 reps seem to be quite seamless, so they're already on to that, those 20 reps. It goes working quite well in synchro there. The other teams are offering a bit of support, which is good. I think the fellas from Team Pans, he's had to just go and get a neck brace fitted for the next <laughs> workout. <laughs> Hopefully he's alright, as much as we joke. Have a look at the dents in his head after that. <laughs> really good teamwork. Also, it's just really tough when everyone else has finished around you. You just want to kind of stop because you know you're last. But they're absolutely smashing through that, the girls. So obviously they still want the pride of a good time. They're both very knock at the moment. Knock at bottoms, knock at top, <laughs> knock at headbands. <laughs> Showing sure they're not going off. Real interesting mix of backgrounds of people uh, in this like mini competition. It's amazing, you've got CrossFit Games athletes, you've got former Games athletes, uh, rugby players, Sanctional owners, yeah, it's a real big, uh, real big mix. We've actually got Mia and Phil Hesketh. They're actually on a team with Alex Elibro. They went to the games last year on a team together, but they're actually on different teams today. So that'd be interesting. But three games athletes going at each other, yeah, from the same team, but now on different <laughs> teams. Let's see how that works. And they're about to. I mean, they did really, really well. They finished their part in like two and a bit minutes, and they finished. That's awesome. Eight minutes and 16. Considering how they had to deal with that first part, I think they did really well. So we've got the results in now for event one. Papa Bjorn, 100 points. Victor got knocked out, 80 points. Roger that on 60. Femme on 40. And Team Pan Savarknia on 20. Interesting one. I mean, for me, uh, if I was in that fifth place spot, maybe I would just quit. So you get in the tank, put it in the tank. To be fair, they went through that last bit of the workout pretty quick. Yeah. I'm broken, I think, actually, the whole way through. That's awesome. Yeah. Just for pride, I think. Yeah, Quite I quick. mean, I'm just thinking, you know, 20 points, I've got to get it for last anyway. But the girls, are, yeah, because it's split, the girls had some work to do. So. Energy conservation. Is that, it's all about those that could pull, pull in later. They've got some chance to make that back up as long as no bad muscle ups on the next one. So that was a really good first workout, super fast all the way through for everybody. But Papa Beyond here, yeah, almost twice as fast as Team Pans on that workout. Right, so winner of the first event, how did everything feel with the team? Uh, it felt very nice, we had uh, the guys, and they were very fast, Alex and uh, Linus. And they were in the lead from the start. So we were just like, okay, let's do this. What was, did, what was your game plan? Um, just, just go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just go. No, but like, just try to be as fast as possible. And we knew like the acid would come like in the end. We were like, or I felt at least like in the mid middle of the second yeah. exercise, I was like, fuck, now it's coming. But yeah, then I just continued. Huh? My first time teaming up hmm? was uh, good. Yeah. So what's the thought for the next second event? 
it's uh, gonna hurt, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna hurt very much. But I said to Alex, I was like, I'm gonna take it easy in the first uh, bike because yeah, it's gonna like the the last one you need to really push. So not go too hard in the beginning. Check the body, join the flow. Yeah.